Hello everyone. Welcome to GarageBand Lesson 1. Editing. In this lesson we're going to take a song out of iTunes, drag it into GarageBand, and edit it. So iTunes is open, GarageBand is open, we're ready to go. We need a new GarageBand project. There are a lot of different ways you can do this, especially in GarageBand 09, but we're going to go back to the easy way. File New. We'll call it Editing. Save it to my desktop. We don't care about the rest. Click Create and we're ready to go. Whenever you open a GarageBand project, this is what you will automatically see. We don't need a keyboard for note entry. We don't need a grand piano, so we'll go up to Track, Delete Track, get rid of that, and I need my iTunes and I can't see it, so we're going to resize the window, move that out of the way, there's my iTunes. If you're dragging a file in to use it in GarageBand at this point, if it goes, you see the green plus sign, just let it go and it'll load in. If you don't see the green plus sign, that means the file is not compatible. And for this lesson, we don't want to worry about that, so just pick another song. All right, done with iTunes, get that out of the way. Now we're ready. So I, my song is in there and we'll just push the play button. Okay, and we're good to go. So we've got our song in there. Now it's time to learn how to edit. When we edit, the first thing you need to do is select a region. This area is called the timeline. You'll hear that vocabulary word a lot. When you click on audio content, it'll change colors when it's selected. That's called a region. Um, we can move regions by clicking, dragging, letting them go. So you can move it earlier in the song, you can move it later in the song. If you have multiple tracks, if you're editing different things together, you can create a new track and you can move the region, just drag it down, it pops right into the other track. So you can move it side to side, up and down, wherever you want that to go. So we've got our region selected. Now I decided that I'm I want to make this a really short version of for release. When you move the cursor here, you'll see it kind of snaps from one grid line to the next. That's because up here on control, it defaults to snap to grid. That's great if you're composing using loops and you want all your loops to sync up, but it's not so great if you're editing and you want very precise in and out points. So I'm going to get rid of snap to grid. It's gone. I'm also getting rid of metronome because that drives me nuts. So now we can move that cursor and place it very precisely within the song. Let's say you still can't get it to the exact spot you want. That's where the zoom slider comes in handy. Go all the way to the left and it compacts the view of your region. Um, so if you've got a long song, you can see a lot of it in your timeline. But if you're editing and you want to choose a very precise point for your cursor, you can go all the way over there and you can place that very carefully. All right, we're going to go back here. When we're editing, I want to get rid of some of the song, so I need to split my track. Go up to Edit, Split, and now my song is divided into two regions. I don't want this one, so we'll do Edit, Delete. Uh, I, for the tutorial, you'll see me use the menu so you can see exactly what I'm clicking on, but usually I just use the keyboard shortcuts. and they're the same for GarageBand that you would find in a word processing program. Cut, copy, paste, all those things are the same keyboard shortcuts. So we learned how to move, we learned how to split a track, we learned how to delete. Now we're going to copy. Edit, copy. Now when you paste that back in, it's going to go wherever the cursor is. So there's the cursor, edit, paste, and there it is. If I highlight the other track, wherever that cursor is, paste it in, it's going to go on the other track instead. Let's say you changed your mind, you did a whole bunch of things but decided that it really was better the other way, you can always go back to undo and it will undo many 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 steps. And last thing we're going to delete that again. 
the last thing you can do with editing is you can repeat sections. You can loop them. Notice the cursor looks like an arrow. We go to the upper right hand corner and it turns into that little loopy arrow. Drag it here and we're creating a repetition of that region. And you'll see here, there's the end of a repetition. We could keep going and going. And that's editing with GarageBand. Thanks for watching.